Hello, this is Rich, and today I want to show you the brand new feature that is added to the CryEngine Project Manager version 2.0. Basically, project packaging and deployment has been added. Uh, it's, it's still an early um, feature, uh, but it is 100% working here. And, you know, through your feedback and uh, reports, you can uh, let me know what features you want me to add in the future. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the deployment process and how you get your project completely deployed. Now, how this works is basically your game has a bunch of source assets like TIFF files, um, non-optimized XMLs, and just various unoptimized assets. Also has folders and files. Um, the deployment process will strip all source assets from your game automatically. Now this is a completely automated process. There's no work done by you. This is the beauty of it. It's going to recompile all your textures, um, you know, if, if needed, to the appropriate setting that it's already been compiled to. It's going to package everything up into a pack file, so there'll be no more folders and structures. It'll be into a pack files, and it will optimize all your assets to be released on the uh, specified platform. And um, it will output a package file, which is a .zip. You can simply redistribute the .zip and uh, extract it and just play. An extremely optimized game. Now, let's go get no, let's get started here. CryEngine Project Manager. We're going to go ahead and open this up. As you can see, we got uh, one project. I'm going to package uh, Turtle Commando up. You can see we have a button called Deploy that's added to this. And what we'll do is we'll just hit the Deploy, and we're presented with the Project Deployment Wizard. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to change some pack settings by lowering this drop down box we can use encryption um, by enabling this, this box and we can generate a 128 bit encryption key for our game uh, this is so that when you release your game your all your pack files will be encrypted so people can't peek inside them and that's what you want for release um, just to note cryengine uh, the launcher the actual launcher for your game doesn't support encryption um, there's some sort of bug with it, but CryEngine is aware of uh, Crytek is aware of this, and they are trying to solve it. But I do support that here, and also the compression level. The, how how much do you want to compress your game? And you can go up to nine, meaning it's maximum compression. Zero means no compression at all. You just want to package it up. But we're going to choose maximum compression here, but a good default value would be six. We'll choose nine, and um, for package settings we're going to specify the package file, which is the output file, okay? And we're going to desktop, and we're just going to say turtle. And click save. Now what we got to do is click deploy and wait. The CryEngine RC is being used to uh, package and optimize all of our assets automatically. There we go. We have the output file here. Now we can't access it because I'm actually in the process of zipping it. So uh, this will stall here for a second because it's a long process of zipping up all the assets. And we'll just sit here and wait. I mean, as you can see, it's, it's extremely uh, easy to use. You just specify the options that you want, the package file you want, and just click deploy. Um, you don't have to mess around with all these files and packaging all these uh, directories yourself. Just just get in here in the project manager, boom, deploy, deploy. And everything's going to be recompiled for you exactly how you want it ready for release. Give it a little bit more time here. Now... Oh, there we go. Project deployment complete. Now that we're done, we can just go ahead and close out of this. And now we got our packaged file here. Uh, it's 200, let's see, let's refresh. It is 272 megabytes compressed, and that's it. You distribute this out to people, and they can play your game. So what we'll do to show you that it works, we'll, we'll use 7-zip, and we'll just uh, extract the files. Now, I do want your opinions on this because I want to know exactly what you think would be helpful. Right now, by default, I deployed both 32 and 64 bit versions. I mean, would you like the option to specify you only want to distribute the 64 bit or the 32 bit version? Let me know. So, now that we're done, 
We have the bin 64. As you notice, there's no RC folder. The RC is completely stripped out. We don't need that. Okay. There is the editor there. Um, that's something apparently I forgot to get rid of that. Um, let's see here. If you got the plugin SDK, I package all your plugins. Um, I ignore all, in terms of coding uh, for you people out there, I ignore all PDB files and all that as well. I strip all that out automatically. All right, so we left with our game, SDK, uh, DLL here, and our game, Turtle Commando DLL. Same for bin 32. Get your plugins there. And we have content. The levels folder, CryEngine does not support packaging, uh, sorry, packing of levels. So the levels are going to be uh, right there. And we have the content.pack. And this is everything is uh, comprised right inside of here. I mean, we could just open it up because we have no encryption here. You can see all of our stuff is inside here. Now, there is no TIFF files at all. I mean, everything is recompiled. All source assets like TIFFs and max files and all that stuff is, is stripped and only DDS and the compiled assets are included. And your engine, you got your already packed up files inside there and your localization. I mean, that's it. You got a complete game in your little system config so people can customize it if you want. So let's go ahead and go to bin 64, uh, launch the game SDK and see what's up. Yeah, let's see. Oh, look. We're right inside the game. I'm running with VSync on right now, which gives it the smooth, uh, very smooth gameplay. And even with the recording software, since last time, it's running a lot smoother. So VSync is very important for recording, apparently. But yeah, we have a fully uh, packaged game that we can use. Just like that. I mean, thank you guys very much. Hope you enjoy it. Please, please uh, let me know on any features you want me to support. Support uh, in the project manager itself and the uh, deployment wizard. Project deployment wizard. Okay. Thank you guys very much. Hope you enjoy.